Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I have some toilet paper minis that I wanted to share. I used the Dollar Tree stickers and the Dollar Tree pa toilet paper rolls. Um, they're a little bit wider and longer, so I kind of like that, so they're not so narrow um, and stubby. So here's the first one, and I did them very simply. I find that um, at craft sales, craft fairs, people kind of don't get the interactive, elaborate things. It's like they kind of want to just real simple, um, at least from my experience. Um, and plus, when you're at a craft fair, you really don't have time to show people how something works, like the, um, what are they, flip minis or flip flip books and that. I've had those, and you have to kind of show them how they open up and flap open and stuff, and they're fun, and you eventually sell them, but people kind of don't get them, so it's, it's a demonstrable thing. This is down and dirty and simple. So here's the first one. I just went into my paper stash of 6x6 six six papers. I think this one is my mind's eye. And so I just made some quick little tags um, for each one. And these, a lot, this is, yeah, that's a tuck spot. I should have a piece of paper. Oh, here. So this is a big piece of paper I'm just showing for tuck spots. Um, this is not a tuck spot, but you can put anything there that they want. And then here's another double-sided tag. And um, here's a tuck spot here. And these are, this is from that Stampin' Up stamp. What is it called? I think it's called My Words or something like that. Or Word by Word. I think Word by Word. It's old and I love it. I found it at a... Did I find it at a garage sale or a thrift store? Don't remember. Okay, so anyways, here's another little tuck spot. But it's great. It's a big stamp, and it just has all these words, and then I cut them out. You can use it as a big stamp, or like me, I cut them all out. That's not a tuck spot. Or yeah, it is. Sorry. This is not a tuck spot. And then they have... And there's the back. So there's that one for friendship. Here is the kind of the home one. And I cut this. This was two um, things stuck together, so I just cut it off to use it for that. These are one-sided papers. Don't remember. This might be... No, Prima's two set. I don't remember what paper this was. And here's some little tags. Yoli sent me a bunch of these tags she found at a, a warehouse sale. These little tags and little hearts. And then I just punched out a heart. And I, um, the tags just come plain like that. So I just doodled it up for this. These tags are what she sent too. Just very thin this size, this size. I think there's some heart-shaped um, tags too. So that's a little tuck spot with the leaves. Another tag. I love that. And that. I think this is herbs and I don't remember. Isn't that pretty? So there's that one. And then this one. And I will say something about the um, Dollar Tree stickers. They're really nice, but the wording is kind of funny. Like, I don't have an example of it, but it'll say something like simply life. Like life simply instead of live simply or simple life. You know what I'm saying? It was life simply and it should have been either live simply or simple life not simply life so that's kind of the and I think that's kind of a lost in translation thing I don't remember if that's yeah it is a tuck spot did I show oh here's some 
really cool sari ribbon that Candace sent me. Thank you again, Candace. It's great. Little tag. You can probably tuck something up there. And then I put borders down. This is two sided. This is graphic 45 paper. Another little tuck spot. No tuck spot. That's just for decoration. And tuck spot. No tuck spot. And another tag. So, there's that one, and here's the back. And finally, this is a stamp site that Yoli sent. Thank you for your prayers. I thought that was kind of a nice gift to give someone that's been having your back and praying for you. A kind word of comfort. The stamp warehouse she went to is uh, Printworks down there where she lives in California. A warm smile for cheer. Isn't that nice? Nice little stamp. And these are, this is um, my mind's eye. And I don't remember what paper it was, but the journal, the journal cards go with it. Caring thoughts. And then the Dollar Tree stickers. So there's those. Very fun and simply made. Um, what I did too, I forgot, with the um, the toilet paper rolls, I just took some gesso on my finger and just went around the edges to kind of shabby chic it up a little bit. So you can see. So that just kind of makes it a little more shabby and less cardboardy, you know. So. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you give this a try. They're super fun and again, doesn't take much um, paper and then just, you know, find some little ribbons and there you go. Bye!